Hello, everyone, and welcome inside the newsroom at Town Square Towers in downtown Toms River. With your Town Square Jersey Shore News Weekend Report, I'm Vin Ebenu. The family of a missing freehold woman remains hopeful that they will find the 25-year-old alive. Stephanie Parzi has been missing since October 30th. A search connected to her disappearance resulted in one arrest, although not for a crime involving her disappearance. John Osbilgen, a man Parsi has identified online as her boyfriend, was charged last week with possession of child porn and was charged twice earlier this year with beating two other women. The search for Stephanie Parsi continued in Staten Island this week, but it's not clear if investigators found any clues. A family member of a mentally unstable Manchester resident made a critical call to police and officers prevented a tragedy from taking place at the hands of a man who had a loaded gun. The caller told dispatch the 25-year-old relative was acting irrationally, loading a rifle, and told his family that he wanted to kill people. The dispatcher told the caller to bring their family out of the home. When police officers arrived at the scene, they spoke with the man who had set up a sniper hide on the second floor and convinced him to leave the home without incident. He was then brought over for a mental health evaluation. Manalpin officials want the state to shut down a residential facility they describe as a den of crime and foul conditions and are balking at state inspectors' assertions that the facility has cleaned up its act. Mayor Susan Cohen and municipal officials wrote a letter to Governor Murphy outlining what they said are problems at Manalpin Manor on Route 33. The toilets are inoperable and cause sewage to back up. There's also an infestation of cockroaches, bedbugs, flies, and insufficient supplies of food. The DCA said Manalp and Manor is in compliance with health standards. Who defaced the greetings from Manasquam mural with senseless graffiti? Police in the Monmouth County Borough are asking anyone with information on who defaced the mural at the Inlet Beach on Riverside Drive to contact them. A $250 reward is being donated by a private citizen for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the artist. We told you how confusing New Jersey's recycling guidelines have become. And what stuff goes in what bucket? Typically, things like plastic bags, bubble wrap, and other plastic films do not go into recycling. In Bradley Beach, town officials have launched what they believe is the first curbside recycling program for this stuff. Environmentalists say thin, filmy plastics are extremely dangerous to marine life. The town is now handing out five-gallon buckets for the stuff to be loaded into and placed at the curb. Police are cautioning drivers not to create a traffic hazard in the process of seeking a Popeye's chicken sandwich. A Reddit user posted a digital sign said to be on display in Rutherford with the warning that a sandwich isn't worth a ticket. The fast food chain relaunched the extremely popular menu item, which has spurred lines of vehicles stretching out onto highways across the state, including on Route 37 in Tom's River. Stay tuned on air and online all weekend long for all the latest Jersey Shore news, weather, and traffic. And make sure you download our free mobile app where all of our content is available anytime. In the newsroom at Town Square Towers in downtown Tom's River, I'm Vin Ebenu with your Town Square Jersey Shore News Weekend Report.